What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with the wrap wrap. We're going to be breaking down the NHL action going down on Friday, May 17th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all the love and support we've gotten here at Pick Dogs over the years. I appreciate you guys taking time to tune into the wrap round so I can put you on some um, NHL winners. If you're looking for my best bets on the board, the games that I absolutely love, head to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Just MLB for sale today for me uh, as a daily package. Got my $19 MLB pickoff play. Got my MLB five spot, my five best bets from the MLB on the board. And that pickoff play is included in that five pack. If you want access to my NHL premiums or my NBA play of the day, check out a long-term pass. You know, buying these daily packages are great. We can make you money on a money-making Friday, head into the weekend strong. But the best value is to hop on a long-term pass because... You know, it gets you access to every single play that I make at Pick Dogs Premium. You're not restricted to one sport, you know, and it makes the plays a lot cheaper. So it's definitely something that you want to check out, especially with a loaded weekend of action ahead. You can pair me up with any of your other favorite handicappers as part of our multi-capper promotion. But whatever you choose to do, I implore everyone, check out the uh, the promo code at, at, um, at Pick Dogs. Pick, enter it at checkout, it'll get you 15% off your purchase. But that's down the road. I'm going to be hosting the drive through tonight, so we're going to have a bunch of cappers on to talk about some action. Hopefully some guys are going to talk about the NHL, but either way, we're here to talk about the two NHL playoff games on the board on Friday. You guys know the drill. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. Our first game on Friday's card takes us to the TD Garden, where the Boston Bruins take on the Florida Panthers. And to be honest, I just think that the series is done. Um... You know, I get it. The Boston Bruins were able to, to pick up a feel-good victory, you know, force game uh, game six. But the thing for, um, you know, the thing for me here is that, you know, as much as I like the Boston Bruins, what they've done at home in the last couple of years, the reality is, is that they have, they still haven't impressed me in this postseason. They've scored two goals or less in each of the last four games of this series. It was kind of like what the Toronto Maple Leafs did in that first round series against the Boston Bruins. They just, they couldn't score and had to try to rely on defense, but in the end, the levy broke. And, you know, at a certain point, the lack of goal scoring came back to bite the Leafs. And I think that's, what's going to happen here with the Boston Bruins. You can only win games by scoring two goals, uh, you know, so many times. And the Florida Panthers for me are just the better team that just came out flat in that last game. I don't think they come out flat here. I don't think that, you know, they want to go to game seven. It would kind of be poetic for the uh, the Bruins that they could force game seven with the way they were up 3-1 on the Panthers last year. And, you know, the Panthers came back to win that series. Now the Panthers could, you know, potentially do the same. But I don't think it gets to that. I think the Panthers, like I said, I think they're just the better team in this matchup. I think they come out here with some purpose. I think they, uh, I think they get the job done. I'm going to take the Panthers in this one at minus 146. The other game on Friday's card takes us to the Ball Arena where the Colorado Avalanche take on the Dallas Stars. And when I said that, you know, I don't think that series between Florida and Boston is going seven. I think this one's going seven. You know, the Dallas Stars, yes, they've played really well on the road this season. I am not taking that away from them. They have been one of the most consistent teams home and away in the NHL this season. But right now, after game five, this just feels like a series that's now going seven. We always say, you know, you say it in the NBA, guy. They said it in the NBA, you know, don't let us get one. And I think that's what the Avalanche are saying right now. Don't let us get one because this is an experienced team with plenty of playoff experience, experience in these big game situations. And this is a Colorado Avalanche team that despite dropping two games at home in this series, have still been the best home team in the NHL in the regular season. They were really good at home in that Winnipeg series. I think the Avalanche show up here. Their season on the line backs against the wall. I think they show up here, and I think they make things extremely interesting in this one. I think they force Game 7 here. I, you know, and then once we get to Game 7, kind of all bets are off. But I think that, you know, I think uh, the Dallas Stars, you know, while they are a solid team, I think the Game 6 goes the way of the Avs here. I'm taking Colorado in this one at the coin flip price at minus 115. That's it. That's all the NHL action for Friday, May 17th, 2024. If you like this content, make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when the newest and freshest content drops here at Pick Dogs. If you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. And make sure to let me know your NHL picks in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Good luck.